In the past videos, I explained a lot about how we can decide the behaviors of certain NPCs, how they move around the world, etc. But you might be wondering, how do I actually decide their abilities? Because if we go under NPCs here, we don't really have a place to attach abilities to them. And that's because I wanted to make something a lot cooler than just drag and dropping abilities on every single one of your NPCs. Not only because you might want to have NPCs using the same abilities and it would be uh, kind of annoying to have to assign it multiple times the exact same thing, but also because as always I add a lot of customization options, a lot of freedom and a lot of room for randomness so that we can on top of all the randomness we already have with the AI system, even the abilities can also be random and that's what I'm going to explain in this video. So let's again do a quick recap of the wall AI system and go to the phase ability section. If you have been watching the AI videos uh, one after the other, you might think I'm going crazy and I'm repeating myself a lot, <laughs> but I actually want this to be as clear as possible. So it's kind of a good thing for you to hear it multiple times, but it's also a good introduction to the video to really situate where we are and what we're looking at. So NPCs in RPG builders can have as many phases as you want. Each phase has a phase template. Here we're looking at a phase template. And as you can see, each phase template can have as many available behaviors as we want. When an NPC is entering one of its phase, it's going to pick only one behavior out of this list. The others are not going to be used. This is very cool because we can have the exact same NPC spawned in an area of the world and they can all have a different behavior. So if you spawn 10 orcs, they could all be the same 10 orc NPCs, but have completely different behaviors. Now, when we go to behaviors, uh, we don't just say, okay, you know what? This behavior is going to have ability X, Y, and Z. No, it's a lot better than that. So just like phases have a list of behaviors, behaviors have a list of ability list. It's not even a list of ability. It's a list of potentially, uh, potential ability list. So if we had five, only one ability list will be picked by this NPC. And now if we look at what is an ability list, right? So here, for example, we have the bear ability list. So we go under phase abilities and here we have the pair um, ability list. We have a few others, but as you can see, this is actually well, an ability list. As you can imagine, we can add as many as we want, but not only here we can define, for example, uh, well, let's say in this case, you know, we have the bear. The bear has bear attack one, which is kind of like an auto attack, just uh, attacking with his paw, but he also has an ability um, called bear bleed, right? And this applies a dot. In this case, as is, the template will actually always add those two abilities to whatever NPC got the behavior, which then picked this ability list, right? But we could go a bit more interesting with something like that. So what we could do here is we could add, let's say, uh, two more abilities. And let's say I will go ahead and add fireball here and maybe um, lacerate. These, of course, in this case, are player abilities. They could very much be NPC abilities, but, you know, um, that's just for the sake of the video, right? So here we now have four abilities. If I leave this phase ability template as is, they will all be added to uh, the NPC when he gets this ability list. Now, we could do something a bit different. What we could do here is say to uh, this template, we only want a certain amount of those abilities, so maybe two. So out of four abilities, we can only get two of them. And this is um, even more configurable because we can go ahead here and turn on is optional, or for example, even better, uh, we could leave this one, the bear attack one, as um, not optional, meaning that no matter what, this one will always be added because you might actually want your NPC to at least have some kind of base auto attack, right? You might want to at least have for sure this ability, but then on top of this base attack, it could have a few optional abilities and it could have the bear bleed, the fireball and lacerate. And for each of those ability, we can have their own custom chance. So it could have uh, maybe, I don't know, 75% chance to get the bear bleed, a very low chance to have a fireball, and even lower to have lacerate. So just like NPCs can have custom behaviors, which makes each encounter completely different, the phase ability system 
push it, pushes this even further because now not only they behave differently every time but they might even have completely different abilities every time so that's really cool and maybe even different combination of abilities which you know might actually be uh, a lot stronger or maybe a lot weaker you don't know so um and lastly uh, there is also a quick uh, nice setting here which is limited use amount. So for example, if I go ahead here and turn this on, I could decide that this fireball can only be used five times during combat by this NPC. Uh, this could also be even more um, interesting with one, for example. So for example, a, a certain ability could you know, only be used one during the fight. So this is really a nice way to design your uh, maybe boss fight. Uh, I guess you can use this for mobs as well, of course, but I think we can think of many more use cases for bosses. So yeah, and once you're done with this, uh, with this phase ability, you can just go uh, under your behavior and add it to the list. And this NPC, when entering its phase and activating this behavior, will get one of those phase abilities active. So that's pretty much what phase abilities are. And like I said, we no longer just attach them to an NPC and be stuck with that. We just create it. And now you could very, very easily have it applied to as many NPCs as you wanted, if you wanted them to share their um, ability list. So let me know what you think as always. If you need help with that, uh, contact me on Discord and see you in the next video.